property, security of lives and property is at stake. Our sovereignty is at stake. Our unity is at stake. Nigeria is the greatest country in Africa, the most populated country in Africa, and of course, the pride of the African continent. If the European Union is beginning to address our elections and of course, whatever is daring, the way they have presented this report, then we are scared. We are scared that it's not just going to affect Nigeria as a country, it's going to affect the whole of the African continent. We are striving to grow. We want to be first and second world countries. We want to be emerging countries. And we cannot grow in the speed that we want to grow with the kind of reports that we are getting from the, United, from the European Union. We are here to register our grievances. We are here to tell them that as a matter of urgency, they should withdraw their reports. And of course, come up with the reports that will be favorable to Nigeria, the report of what they saw. How, how on earth can just less than 50 people from the European Union come to Nigeria to observe an election where you have over 176,000 polling units at election centers, and then they go to less than 1,000 polling units and electric, I mean the election centers, and they draw conclusions. And I also want to send a clear signal to them if there are people, if there are other Nigerians that they are using as scapegoats to send the wrong signal about our dear country, we want to tell them to desist from that immediately. Nigeria want to measure up with European Union countries. Nigeria want to be like the United States. Nigeria want to be like the Great Britain. Nigeria is striving seriously to be like every first and second world countries of the world. So we will not henceforth condone any false report. We will not henceforth condone any manipulated reports against our dear country. It has happened in the past. What we are seeing is new colonialism in these guys, and we will not allow that. We want to be a sovereign country. We want to be an independent country, independent in the true sense of it. We have a constitution that guides us. We have the constitution that sets the tone, and the constitution is what we must work with and work by, not by any you know, any speculations and fabrications and rumors from the international community. We are saying enough is enough. We have a president that is doing very well. We have a president that has started on the right footing. We have yes. the president that is doing what several presidents in Nigeria have not been able to do. All that we need at this point is to support him. Yes. He is our son. We are his children. He is our leader. We willingly voted for him. No man, no woman, no country compelled us to vote for him. It is our right to vote for the candidate of our choice. And that was exa exactly what we exhibited in the last election. Our election that we all witnessed was free to an extent, was free to a very large extent, almost 100% free. It was an election that was devoid of so many things that we used to, that we used to witness in the, in the past. Our, our I mean, democracy is growing, is growing at an accelerated rate, and we must want the international community to take cognizance of that. Instead of bringing out reports that they have fabricated, we will reject that and reject it vehemently. We want to let them know that never again, never again, never again the third time, should they intrude in our national affair. We understand the role they play. Yes, that is not out of place. But again, there comes a time when we have to stop. They should know when to stop and they should know when to continue. If there are no motives, why on earth should they take the reports of this election to the tribunal? Is that where a report should be received? No. There are procedures, they have procedures in their countries, but when they come to Nigeria, they act out of you know, protocol. They must begin to observe protocols. They must begin to respect our rule of law. They must begin to respect the Nigerian people. Yes. This is what we have come to say here in very clear terms today. Thank you very much. You have a letter. Could you please hand it that your message will be passed on to the right quarters? Thank you very much for this. I appreciate it. Your name, what is your name, sir? The man wanted to address us. Okay. No, so thank you very much. So your message will be delivered. Thank you very much. Is that all you have to say? What's your name? Of course, I will deliver your message. I will deliver your message. I will have to transmit a letter to you. Thank you. Can you say your name on the camera? Yes. Thank you. On that part at the moment. So the distraction that is attempted to be caused by the European Union uh, a negative completion on the election is unwarranted unnecessary and we reject it in totality.
particularly now that we are grappling with fundamental issues of insecurity. There is no way European Union will beat her chest and say she's in love with Nigeria and she's, she's, she's in love in seeing the progress of this country and also at the same time come to add salt to injury. It shouldn't be. Elections were held, elections were held, and the presidential elections came out beautifully. We are here representing the over 7.5 or 3 million Nigerians that voted for the present administration. Rightly or wrongly, whoever feels aggrieved knows the direction to channel you know, his grievance. But the truth of the matter is that the election was fair and fair, and we stand by it, and we stand to defend the mandate. The European Union a, a conclusion about fraudulent election does not arise at all, it's unwarranted. And we believe also that it is orchestrated by the detractors of Nigeria's democracy. And we want you, the media men, to please join us in full force to defend Nigeria's democracy. That report is a threat to our democracy, it should be rejected outrightly. Thank you. My name is Danjuma Mohammed. I am partnering with Who is coming?